Okay, everybody. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to do a little bit of yoga. So, let's see if I can get this where you can see it. There we go. I'm going to start uh, standing at attention. So, come standing at attention. Feet together. Heels just a sliver apart. And bring your hands together at heart center. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And open mouth, exhale, side out. One more deep breath in through your nose, press into your toes. Hold at the top, pull your belly in. Open mouth, exhale, side out. Rub your foggy up glass. Let's take one more breath now. Listen for the change. Inhale, three, two, one. Pause. Now exhale through your nose. Three, two, one. One. And continue to breathe on your own, in through your nose, now through your nose, building some internal heat. Think about what brought you on your mat today. Set an intention if that's part of your practice. Just one more round of breath here. Make it deeper than the last. As you exhale, make that exhale longer than any you've taken today. And blink your eyes open. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach your arms high overhead. Turn your pinkies in, thumbs out. Make your hands a little bit wider to open your shoulders. Keep your belly nice and tight. Continue to press into your mat. Now one more inhale. Reach a little higher. Lift your gaze up just slightly. Exhale, little back bend on your vitasana. So this is a small back bend. Just warming up. Bring your elbows in line with your shoulders. Take another breath here. Inhale. And palms toward the ceiling, exhale. Inhale, mountain pose, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. And take the time on this forward fold, nice and slow, hands through heart center. Swan dive all the way down if you like. We just hands through heart center. Go ahead and take some natural movement here. Pedal at your feet, then one knee, then the other. Go ahead and just uh, maybe grab opposite elbows, sway side to side. You know, put a little bit of music on, just because. Why not? Yeah. You can give yourself a little self-assist. Maybe place your hands on the back of your neck and uh, give yourself a little traction. Allow a soft bend in your knees. You're going to be in this um, forward fold for just another breath. There we go. Breathe in. And exhale, release your hands to the floor. So heel your feet back together so your toes are touching. Inhale, halfway lift. Find a flat spine. Hands against your shins. And shift the weight forward into your toes. So rather than rock the weight back into your heels, see if you can shift the weight forward like you're peering over a ledge. Peel your shoulder blades back. Nice long neck. No need to gaze straight ahead of you, but rather straight down for the top edge of your mat. One more inhale. Exhale, squat and curl. Bend your knees. Lift your heels and round your spine. Come into a tiny ball shape. Don't be afraid to tuck your chin in tight to your chest. Think about uh, making this into like a compression. So you're getting as small as you can. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then we'll flow breath to movement. So lower your heels. Inhale, mountain pose. Sweep your arms up. Exhale, back bend. Spread your hands wide. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Take your time, nice and slow, soft bend in your knees. Inhale, halfway lift, fingers against your shins. Exhale, squat and curl, get a little bit tighter on this one. Now adding on, inhale, mountain pose, sweep your arms up. Exhale, find a steeple grip at the top, interlock your fingers. So your hands are um, interlocked, except your index fingers and palms are tight. Arms against your head, one more breath in. Exhale, up and over to the right, little side stretch. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, up and over to the left, and as you breathe out, find length in both sides of your body. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, little back bend, hands wide. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Lead with your heart, find that flat spine all the way to your neck. Inhale, halfway lift, reset your spine. Exhale, squat and curl. Get even tighter on this one. See if you can bring your belly closer to your thighs and chin tighter against your chest. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, chair pose. Have a seat. 
Yes, coming into chair pose, sit the weight into your heels. Hands straight ahead, palms still face each other, and peel your shoulder blades down. So with a slight hinge forward at your waist, keep your heart lifted. One more inhale. Exhale, airplane your arms, lift your heels up. Come into the ball mounds of your feet. Keep your chest lifted. Maybe bring your pinkies a little bit closer. Inhale. And stay for your exhale. Feel your, feel your legs go to work here. All right. Inhale back to chair pose. Lower your heels down. Exhale, forward fold to your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Reset your spine. Now listen here. Exhale, high plank pose. Come to a high plank pose. Step your feet back. Fingers are wide. Press into the L shape of your hands. Peel your shoulders back. Keep your belly nice and tight. Pull your heels in. Breathe in. Exhale, lower down onto your belly. Untuck your toes. My blocks are going to move it with my feet. Untuck your toes. Keep your elbows bent. Palms on the mat. Press into the tops of your feet. Inhale, cobra pose. Peel your shoulders back. There's no weight in your hands. Chest is lifted slightly. One more inhale. Exhale, lower down. Tuck your toes. Inhale, back to high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. In this first downward dog, push your tailbone high. Pedal out your feet. Maybe walk it out a little bit. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step into a low lunge. Lower down to your left knee. And then inhale, just take a open twist to the right. So right arm is high. Left hand is down. If you need a block, you can go ahead and put a block under your left hand. Right, so um, just be careful. I know it might not feel super comfortable on your left knee. Um, rotate your ribs up. So really press into your toes of your left foot. Take the pressure off your knee. And look up towards your thumb. Breath in. Exhale, come on back down. And both hands are on the mat. Inhale, crescent lunge. So to come into crescent lunge, press into your left toes. Lift your left knee up. And arms come up. Notice how my arms are going to go forward up. Exhale. Sit your tailbone down a little bit. One more breath in. Exhale, open to warrior two. Spin your left heel down. Bring your right knee over your pinky toe. Stay here in your warrior two and look over both shoulders just to make sure that both shoulders are even. Spread your fingers apart. Breathe in. Exhale, sit a little bit deeper. Yeah. Keep your knee over your pinky toe. Inhale, reverse warrior. Reach your right arm up and back. Find that length in the side of your body. It's not a back bend, but a side stretch. So your shoulders are square, hips are square. To the side wall. One more inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back to high plank. Inhale, press forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. So we'll do that on the other side now. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Step your left foot between your hands, lower to your right. Inhale, open twist to the left. So again, you can put a block under your right hand. Open your left hand toward the ceiling. Get a little twist in your ribs. If it hurts your right knee, just press a little bit more into your right toes. And look up towards your left thumb. Relax your left shoulder. Breathe in. Exhale, come on back down. You can move your block out of the way here. Inhale, crescent lunge. Press into your right toes and sweep your arms forward and up as you lift your right knee. Good. Take another breath in here. Exhale, open to warrior two. As you open into warrior two, spin your right heel down. Pull your left knee toward your left pinky toe. Relax your shoulders, but keep them wide. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, sit your tailbone down. Really nice hip beats. Stay here for another breath. We feel the power in this pose. Virabhadrasana too. Inhale, reverse warrior. How do you breathe to Virabhadrasana? So we're going to tilt our arms and just let your right hand rest on the back of your thigh. Don't worry about doing a half line. Let's we'll do that later. Reach up and back. So rather than just let your arm hang out, really make that top arm active. Re engage your front knee. Because when you change your hip position from this to this, you might lose the bend in your knee. So consciously put it back and then lengthen the side of your obliques. One more breath in. One more breath out. Stabilize one more inhale. Feel both legs work. Exhale to warrior two. One more inhale. Exhale, hands down to your neck. Step back to hug. Inhale, press forward on your toes. 
Exhale, press back downward, facing dog. So now we'll flow that breath to movement. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, lower to your left knee. Inhale, side twist to the right. Exhale, hands back down. Inhale, press a lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands down to your mat. High plunge. Inhale, press forward. Now listen, we're going to add on here. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Pull your elbows in. Come to a low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra pose. Pull your heels together. Exhale, press back downward facing dog. Really good, yogis. Let's do that on the other side. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Lower to your right knee. Inhale, open twist. Exhale, bring your left hand back down. Inhale, press a lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, come back. Inhale, press forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Or come back to downward facing dog. Inhale, up dog if you need your chaturanga. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, step your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose again. Exhale, hands to heart center. Now you can see me, right? Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, prayer twist to the right. Bring your left elbow outside your right knee. Hands at heart center. Sit your hips a little bit lower and lift your heart up toward your thumbs. Look up toward the ceiling or straight out. Breathe in. And breathe out. One more inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Now listen, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, prayer twist on the left. Bring your left elbow, uh, right elbow outside of your left knee. And then inhale, lift your chest to your thumbs. Exhale, sit your hips back. Let's stay one more breath here. Breathe in. Stay on your breath out. One more inhale, relax your top shoulder. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, open your feet about hip width distance. And then exhale, lift your toes and slide your hands under your feet for gorilla pose. Plant your soles of your feet on the palms of your hands. Breathe in. Exhale, let your head and neck go. Bend your elbows out to the sides. Inhale, lift your hips. Keep your belly close to your thighs. And then exhale, lift your toes. Inhale, walk your hands out. Exhale, toe heel your feet back together. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Let's do one more breath in. Flutter your lips on the breath out. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, walk your feet forward and have a seat. How are we doing, yogis? You okay? All right. Well, we're going to uh, do um, a little bit of core, just a little bit, and then we'll do some floor yoga. Hang on a second. Just uh, change your music here. Nobody's in the waiting room. Okay. Okay. A little Billy song. Okay. On your backs. Line your back, legs up the wall, flex your toes, reach your hands towards your feet. Inhale, shoulders up, exhale, toe touch, pulse, pulse. Press your heels to the ceiling. Keep your legs as straight as you can. Lift not from your shoulders, but from your lowest ridge. 
H four eight seven six five four three two and hold on one breathe in exhale release hug your knees in roll your head side to side legs up the wall and lower your right leg to hover so your legs form a letter L hands to prayer and then point your fingers just outside the pinky toe of your left foot inhale both shoulders up exhale we pulse to the corner just pulse feel your obliques go to work again your lowest rib is the target toward your knee pulse pulse just eight seven six five just four three two and hold on one Breathe in, exhale, release, hug your knees in. Other side down, legs up the wall, hands to prayer, left leg hovers. Point your fingers outside your right pinky toe, inhale, exhale, pulse, pulse, little pulses. Flex both heels, yes you can, keep it going, pulse it out, eight, seven, breathe, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hold, hold, hold. Inhale, and then exhale, hug your knees in, roll your head side to side. Rock and roll up to a seat. Find uh, both toes, lift your chest, knees and thighs together. Inhale, exhale, lean back, flex your toes, lean back, lean back. Extend your arms, big smile, yes you can. Four, three, two, one, inhale. Exhale, cross your ankles, hug your knees. Maybe roll your ear side to side. Meet me in a high plank pose. High plank pose, walk your ankles together. Press into your left hand. Inhale, side plank, Vashisasana. Roll over to the edge of your foot, stack your shoulders. Press into your fingertips, keep your palm flat. Inhale, exhale, hands back to the mat, toes to the mat, keep your feet together. Move your right hand slightly center. Inhale, side plank on the left. Stack your shoulders, reach, reach in opposite directions. One more breath in. Exhale, come down. Inhale, press forward. Exhale, press back down. We're facing dog. Pedal it out. Okay. Okay, so from Downward Facing Dog, hopefully that's where you still are. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, come down to your knees. Yeah, here we are on our knees already. We're going to come onto our backs for reclining figure four. So you come onto your back. Rock your knees out from underneath. Line your back and cross your right ankle over your left knee. You can do it kind of like this. And then just kind of come down onto your shoulders and then your head. And then lift your left foot up. You can grab the back of your left thigh with your interlocked fingers. Or if that's too much, if you feel your neck starting to hyperextend, you can just bring that foot back on the floor and just modify it. But if you can do it, see if you can hold it. If you want to up-level the pose, press your elbow against the inside of your thigh. You know? One more inhale. And then exhale, release the back of your thigh. Bring your foot down and uncross your legs. Now switch to the other side. Left ankle over your right knee. And you can keep your right foot on the mat or lift it up. And if you did it on the other side, you should lock your fingers behind your left thigh. Be aware of your neck. If your chin is pointing up, maybe you're hyperextending, so you want to avoid that. Pull your chin down. Press your elbow against the inside of your thigh. Deep breath in. And breath out. Start to slow your breath down. And last inhale breath. Exhale, release. And from right here, go ahead and place the soles of your feet on your mat. Place your palms on the mat next to you. Inhale for bridge pose. Push your hips up. 
Yeah, sure. Press into your toes as well as activate your glutes. We often think of this pose as activating our glutes, but make your, your whole leg go to work here. A whole leg on both sides. One more inhale. Push your hips up a little higher. Maybe interlock your fingers under your low spine. Stay here. Exhale, breath. Inhale, move your hands out of the way. Exhale, lower down. Hips on the mat. Come into Supta Konasana. So if your feet together, knees open wide. Maybe right hand on your belly. Left hand on your heart. Breathe here. Place your hands on your knees. Bring your knees together like closing a book. Extend your legs in front of you. And then sit up with your legs extended. And coming into a uh, seated forward fold, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale with a flat spine, fold forward, grab the edges of your feet. Your knees can be slightly bent, that's okay, but really go for a flat spine here, breathe in. Exhale, fold forward. Put your forehead toward the tops of your feet. Stay here for another breath, keep your legs as close as you can, inhale. And exhale, go a little bit deeper. Release your feet. Inhale, come on back up. Exhale, slide forward. Extend your arms, come onto your back. Pull your right knee into your chest. Keep your left leg long. Head is on the back of the mat. One more inhale, pull your knee towards your armpit. Exhale, supine twist, pass your right knee across your body, left arm, uh, right arm rather, across. Keep your right shoulder down. Left knee can stay on your knee. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale back to center. Pull your left knee in, exhale your right leg long. Inhale, pull your knee towards your shoulder. Take your exhale. One more inhale, pull your knee a little bit tighter. Your left knee, exhale, supine twist, pass your left knee across to the right and left arm toward the left side of your space. Stack your hips vertically. Let your right hand rest on your knee. Breathe in. If your knee or even your foot doesn't touch the floor, that's okay. Breathe out. Inhale, both knees back to center. Let's give our knees a nice tight hug. See if you can wrap your arms around your knees. Avoid crossing your ankles. Exhale, pull your knees in nice and tight. Now inhale, pull your forehead to your knees. Exhale, happy knees. Release your knees, grab your feet, take it to your hands, pull your tailbone down. Don't forget to smile, it's happy baby. One more inhale. Exhale, release your feet, come into Shavasana. Slide your feet to the bottoms of your yoga mat. Take up lots of space. And I'll let you know when time is in. Start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Bring some movement back into your body. 
when you're ready, roll over to one side in a fetal position. Let your head rest on your arm. Pull your knees into your chest. Breathe in. And breathe out. When you're ready, come up to seated easy pose. Sit with your legs crossed when you get there. No rush. When you get to your seat, find a nice tall spine. Bring your hands together at your heart center. Lift your heart up to your thumbs. You can keep your eyes closed if you like. We'll just take one more breath in together. Breathe out. Breathe in. Longer breath out. Bring your thumbs to the center of your forehead. Breathe in. And exhale, bow forward to seal our practice. Namaste. Thank you so much, Yogis, for joining me today. Uh, I appreciate your time and your energy. Thank you for allowing me to guide you. Hope to see you on your mat again next time. Have a great rest of your day. And stay safe. Thank you.